Uh, this is Audio Modeling's SWAM engine collection of orchestral instruments. And we have the full string section, we have the woodwinds, we have saxes, we have, and we have brass. And these instruments use the principle of physical modeling as opposed to being the same as every other sample library that's out there in the marketplace right now. And it, it gives them a big advantage in expressivity. Like you can actually have your own voice as a keyboard player on instruments that you don't know how to play. So I will show you right now, I'll show you the violin. And for this demo, I'm gonna be using my breath controller. It's not necessary, but I've been using it more often than not. And I'm able to control expression and vibrato with my breath controller. Pretty cool, right? And so I'll give you another example of the library. Let's say we're gonna go for flute. You get a real realistic expression and performance that you don't really get from sample libraries. With sample libraries, everybody that uses them pretty much sounds the same. You know, we're striking a key. But with this, we can actually develop our own voice with an instrument. So it's a big advantage for me. I use these instruments every single day of my work. I'm a big fan. We can, uh, we can move on to one of my, oh, we can try cello. So I have all the choices of input. So I have a keyboard default, I have breath controllers, I have electronic valve instruments, electronic woodwind instruments, geo shred. I mean, there's a lot of different possibilities to input note value. Mm -hmm. Each instrument comes with presets that they've designed with different, subtly different sounds. And each instrument also comes with, I'm not even sure how many there are, I think there's about eight different models of each instrument. There's even elect, an electric cello, there's two versions of an electric cello. And in every instrument, in every string instrument, I can turn the mutes on, I can turn them off, I can affect bow pressure, and if I want, I can assign any kind of keyboard controller to one of these knobs, and I can affect bow pressure while I'm inputting, while I'm performing, which is a big advantage to get as much realism in the performance as possible. Also, this, this past year, they released string sections. So, up till now, they've only had solo instruments, but now they put together sections where you can have groupings of four violins, five violins, six violins.
We can also affect the room that the instrument is in. They've done models of a couple of different rooms. I can change the positioning of each section. So if we had in a song that we were doing in a piece that we were writing, if we had the violins, the violas, the cello and the bass all going in the session, they would all show up in this room and I could move their perspective anywhere I want. And I could change the room and I could change the mic position. So, you know, as time goes on, they're just giving us more and more and more variability to all these instruments and sections. And I, I can't even imagine what the future might look like. To find out more about audio modeling SWAM instruments, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV.